Welcome back to Man and Machine, and this is Better Picks with Nikon. I'm your host, Artie. And today's Better Picture tip is all about using the fill-in flash of your point-and-shoot camera. Now, the biggest misconception about the flash on your camera is that you only need it at night. That is wrong. Now, during the day, you also encounter backlit situations where that is when your subject is right in front of you and the light source is right behind him. So therefore, he or she becomes backlit. So what you need to do is to turn on the flash from your point and shoot, despite the automatic settings of your camera, so that the flash would fire even in a bright situation with the light in front of the camera. What it does is it fills in the shadow part, which is your friend or your subject, and it provides a light source so that he would be seen along with the scenery and balances off with a beautiful picture. And that is one of the main uses of a fill-in flash. And another use of the fill-in flash is of course when you take a photo of a person during noontime where the light source is right above him. And it gives them uh, very obvious shadows underneath the eye bags, under the chin and all that where it gives them a very unflattering image. What you do is you turn on your fill-in flash and the fill-in flash would fill in the shadowy parts of that photo. The camera would then compensate by probably reducing the light sensitivity, speeding up the shutter, and would give you a very well balanced photo with just the right amount of color and shadows and lighting. And I hope you found today's tips useful. Once again, this has been Artie with the Nikon Coolpix P50. It's a mid-level point-and-shoot camera that can yield you professional results. It's got 8.1 megapixels, vibration reduction, ISO 1000, very good for low-light situations. And of course, a wide to telephoto lens, 28 to 102 millimeters, and a 2.5-inch LCD screen. I'll catch you next week on Better Picks with Nikon on Man & Machine. Man & Machine.